go to your left. The inflator hose has to be the highest point of your body. Okay? Air wants to rise. So if you're trying to swim head first down, the inflator hose has to be above you. So you're going to have to turn your body to get the inflator hose above your head. So put that above your head. Push that button in. Make sure you're right in your mouth. And just sit down or lay down on the bottom or kneel down for a minute. Thank you. 
leg out, we want to put it back down. The problem is this is going to a little bit of water. And when that happens, if we take a breath, we're going to drink that water. This water's probably been feeding all day by a couple hundred kids that are in here. So don't drink this water. But when we take your leg out and put it back in, we can purge it two ways. Um, the first way to get the water out of here is just to blow through the wreck. So put it back in your mouth, blow through it. The water's going to come out of here. Your next breath should be clean air. All right, so. And you can do that right now. The second way, we'll take our reg out. We'll put it back in our mouth after about a second. Put it back in. Push the first button. That's going to blow the water out of here automatically for us. And let our next breath to be a nice clean breath of air. When we do that, just take your tongue, throw the roof of your mouth, and splash bar. That way, if a little bit of water is in there, it won't shoot to the back of your throat and make you choke and cough. Uh, you can ch choke and cough through the regulator. It's fine. Hold it in your mouth. You can throw it through these things. I've seen it done before. It's disgusting. Not with any of our rest of you, though. If you throw up in my rag, you've got to clean it. Right. I'll, let you, I'll teach you how to break it down and clean it all out for the next person. But you can do that. So there are the two ways that we can purge your rag. Um, so when we're doing this, any, what's the most important rule in scuba diving? Breathe continues and never hold your breath. So when the rag's out of our mouth, we can't take a breath. We can't go... But we don't want to hold our breath either. So we're going to blow little bubbles just to make sure that we're in a habit of blowing bubbles and not let our lungs stay full of air. So we'll take the reg out and blow small bubbles and put the reg back in. The first way we'll, we'll clear it is blowing through it. I'll show you the second way. We'll purge it. Let's drop down. This is down. This is up. If I, if I ask you if you're okay and you do this to me, that means we're going up. So... Know the difference. If every one of you is on to go, are you okay? Here you go. I'm okay. Oh, wait. So we'll go down to the bottom. I'll demonstrate this. I'm going to take my reg out. I'm going to uh, blow some bubbles. I'm going to put my reg back in. I'm going to purge it the first way by blowing through it. Then I'm gonna, I'll show you again. I'll purge it the second way by pushing the purge button. And then I'll have each one of you do it. Melissa will work this way. I'll work this way. We'll watch you both. We'll watch everyone do all the skills. All right. So watch me demonstrate purging the reg.